it's a little gloomy here today, folks. So let's go inside and make something fun. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kimmy. Welcome to another day here in my studio. As you saw in the previous clip, it was nice and gloomy and rainy, and now it has officially started to storm with thunder and everything. So we are actually hunkering down here in our house because it, we're supposed to start getting a blizzard tomorrow with crazy snow and crazy winds and all that good stuff. So I thought, hey, what better way to spend my day inside and do what I love? Let's do some scrapbooking. If you'd like to see how I made these pages, please stick around. All right. First of all, you guys, check out my new keyboard. Oh, I love it. It's pink. Yeah, my previous keyboard was pink, but it sucked. Um, this is a Logitech Pop Keys keyboard, and it's so heavy. It's substantial. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It just feels so good, and clicking on it feels really good. And it has these little emoji or emoji buttons down here on the side. I haven't figured out how to use those yet. I press them every once in a while, and nothing happens. So I got to figure out how to use those but it's so cool. There's my cat again, sorry. She likes to be in the middle of everything. She just loves me. And she sees this picture of her on the table and she's wondering what that's all about. So, sorry about that, you guys. Let me get her off. Oh, Toby, Toby. Say hi, Toby. Bye, Toby. <laughs> Let me get her fur off. Okay, and so this is just a photo of Toby sitting on a living room chair and I'm gonna use this um, journaling card or what is this um, three by eight piece of paper with journaling prompts on it basically. So I'm just gonna write a list of five things that about Toby right now and it's going to be outside of the page protector and then I'm going to use this as the back and just trim it down and then I'm hopefully I'm just going to embellish this photo if I can find stuff that I like which I'm pretty sure I do have plenty of things that I like I'm going to use the February um stories by the month kit from Allie Edwards at least I'm going to go through it there's plenty of things I think I like in that kit and then I always tell my husband when I take a picture of him, he better watch out because that picture is probably going to go on the internet. He doesn't listen to me. <laughs> so yeah. And then he took this picture of me. Um, normally my dog isn't allowed on our bed, but this day she was on our bed and Toby and I was still in bed and excuse the look on my face. I just woke up. <laughs> But yeah, we all don't look fabulous when we wake up anymore these days, especially when we're old like me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start you guys on fast forward while I trim this up. Oh, and in case you guys are wondering, I know it looks weird sometimes I use two different trimmers, but basically I like the smaller trimmer. I like this one. Um, I prefer to use this one but it's not long enough to cut these to eight, or it's, I should say it's not wide enough to cut these photos to eight and a quarter inches tall. So that's why I use this big one. And I really do like this big one also. It's just so big that I prefer this small one. Okay, so I have trimmed these to eight and a quarter inches tall. This one is 11 inches wide, and this one is, these two are five inches wide. And for this, this is week five of 2024. So it's, um, uh, what was it? So it's January 9th through February 4th. And I only have these three pictures from that week. Um, I actually don't have any pictures from week four. So we're skipping that one altogether. 
and I'm gonna show you. Sorry, Toby. <laughs> okay, this is from week three. And at the end of week three, my daughter left. She actually left the day before week three ended. And I was pretty bummed out that she, you know, was gone. And so I didn't take a whole lot of pictures that week. So I don't have any pictures for week four. But I do want to add this in to week three. Um, after we took my daughter to the airport, we stopped at a Daiso store. And I, it's been on my um, bucket list to go to one of those stores for a long time. Every time we go to like the bigger cities that have them, and I see them, but it's not like in our schedule to be able to go to one of them. So we never make that stop. But this time I was bummed out and my honey wanted to cheer me up. So he took me to one. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut out a piece of this bag to put into week three in my album. put this right in here and I don't think I need a journal about it I'm pretty sure I'll remember what that was about okay now we're gonna go over to week five and I'm just making sure I have dates on all of these photos it's not like I do I think I need to go back and date some of these maybe okay so on the back of this, I'm going to have this photo. And then since I don't have the way these were orientated, oriented, or the way these were oriented, I didn't have a, um, another way to put them in sleeves or to make them like smaller unless I wanted to make them three by fours but then I don't know I just decided to make them big they're fun why not right <laughs> so yeah I am just going to um, adhere this actually I think I'm going to embellish it and everything before I adhere it to the back of this in case I decide I want to sew on it or anything like that. And yeah, let's get to it. I got these cute little packs of hearts from Studio Calico. 
So many hearts. Oh my gosh. I love it. Yeah, this one is from a Christmas collection, which actually works really well because I did want some hearts for my December daily project that I need to finish. But the, these ones say, oops, these ones say Mary, 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 Mary on them. <laughs> and this one is from their latest February collection. I forgot what it's called. Um, but it's February 2024 collection. And yeah, these, so these are more of uniform shape. And then these are more of a wonky shape. But, um, just thought I'd break into those since I, I'm in need of hearts right now. So yeah, I'm just kind of going through my stash, looking at different things I could use and layer on here. Like I mentioned in my last video, I love clusters and stuff. So I'm just trying to make a little cluster over here with some of my mini embellishments that I need to get through. <laughs> So I think what I want to do here is um, I'm going to glue some of this down and I want to run uh, stitching along here. So I'm going to run this through my sewing machine. I just have to figure out what I got to glue down first before I do that. So I think I just have white thread on my sewing machine, but I think that'll be fine. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change it out for pink. I'm just too into pink right now. Oh, but I think it's looking good so far. But once I sew that down, I am not going to be able to move anything around anymore. So I got to make sure that I really love it before I do that. Okay. 
so I think I'm done with this layout. I just did a bunch of hearts, a little scatter of of hearts on there, and um, enamel dots, of course. I feel like I could keep going with the enamel dots, but I don't want to get carried away. Um, I don't know. I wish you guys were here to tell me <laughs> what I should do. Because it could, I feel like you can never have enough enamel dots. But then, you know, I start putting them down and I'm thinking, oh, that's just way too many. Um, maybe a couple more. Maybe just a couple more. They're all pink in tone. And... Maybe just a couple more. Enamel dots never hurt anybody, right? So I just have a bunch of different pinks on here. And this is close to red, but I think it's still just a dark pink. And I didn't, I was too lazy to switch out the sewing thread on my machine so I just left it white but you know once I did it I was like yeah I really should have switched it out to pink that would have been way cuter but that's okay no big deal I think that's cute right there yeah that's cute right there so I'm gonna leave that alone and move on to the next photos these photos right here <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time I see this, I just crack up. This is just too funny. Oh my gosh, this isn't going to take much embellishing. I'm just going to slap some stuff on there and it'll be done. But <laughs> don't even. <laughs> I don't even have words for this. This is. This is cracking me up. Oh. about that you guys my um camera cut out again this time I ran out of storage space and I forgot to tie this on <laughs> oh let me do this real quick all right so you weren't able to see me finish up my journaling here it's just um five things about my cat right now no big deal and then I added little flower shaped enamel dots to the all the zeros just for fun. 
Oh shoot. And I just took one off. I will find that later. <laughs> I guess I didn't stick them on that well. Oh, here it is. You see? Okay. There we go. And then I just um, put her name in alphabet stickers at the top there. And I backed it with this EXO patterned paper. And then here is that goofy picture of my husband because that's what he is. He's a big old goof. Everybody that meets him loves him. He's just that type of guy. So, yeah. I got week five done. Week five is in the books. This is awesome. And now that I think about it, this is the most documenting I've done like on a regular basis. That's not like a project like Week in the Life or December Daily. As regular day-to-day -day documentary documenting. Sorry about that. As regular day-to-day -day documenting. This is the most I've done in a long time. And that makes me so, so happy. Um, you know, basically that's the purpose of this YouTube channel for me. That's one of the reasons I started it was to keep me accountable for memory keeping and art and everything like that. So this is really exciting for me. Um, so that's it for today. If you have any questions, just let me know down below and I will do the best I can to answer them. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day. Bye.